When we're talking about feedback, we're almost always talking about internal feedback, feedback from inside your organization. But what if you want to know what your customers think about their success managers? Well, let me show you how you can ask for external feedback, feedback from people outside of your organization without leaving Microsoft Teams. Let's go. To do that, I'm going to be using TeamFlick, a performance management software for Microsoft Teams. If you don't have it, all you need to do is go to apps, look for Team Flect, and click on it here and download it. So let's go back into Team Flect and let me show you how it's done. To ask for external feedback, I'm gonna click the feedback button right here. And look, here I have all the completed feedback I've received before. So let's click new feedback here. And since we're asking for feedback, I'm going to click ask for feedback. And this is all very straightforward, guys. So it's going to be about myself. I'll put in his email right here. So look, it says external user right here. And then I'm going to pick myself a feedback template. They have all these incredible templates for all sorts of different scenarios, like investor feedback, market research, leadership skills, whatever you might like. But let's pick investor feedback right now. I can add a message if I want to. Let's set a due date. And all I have to do is just request it. And that's it. The request has been sent. And now I can either cancel it or send a reminder. That's it. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? But what does it look like from the other side? What does the person we sent the feedback request to see? Well... Using my incredible hacking skills, I've infiltrated Michael Douglas's Outlook account. No, not that Michael Douglas. But this is the person we requested feedback from. So let's just click see feedback here and fill this information. And proceed to feedback. Now this is what the feedback template we sent looks like. It has the questions on the left side, the name of the template, description of the template, request dates, expiry dates, and visibility status. Now let's fill in these questions. All right, let's say expansion here. Let's give four stars here. And we value innovation more than revenue growth. And let's move profitability up there as well. But look at all the different question types we have in this one template. Let's say here and submit it. As you can see, the entire process is very simple and very quick for the people giving the external feedback. That right there was even simpler than the previous step. Now let's bring this puppy home by going back into the account we sent the feedback request from and seeing what Michael's feedback looks like. I am back inside the account I used to send out the feedback request. And as you can see right here under activity, I can see the feedback we just received from Michael Douglas himself. Let's go to feedback. And you can see the feedback from Michael Douglas under the completed section. And it is marked as external. And once we click on it, we can see the answers we just gave minutes ago. And on the right side, once again, I have information about the feedback template itself. But let's go up and click the little ellipses. And right here, I can print this feedback out or copy the link to it. And that's about it. And that is how you ask for external feedback inside Microsoft Teams. Is there anything else you want to learn about Microsoft Teams? Just let me know in the comments. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And as always, if you want to schedule a free demo with TeamFlect, you can click the link in the description. Bye-bye.